Come on, Arsenal, get in there! What a brilliant, brilliant day. What a brilliant weekend of sporting results for me. It's my birthday weekend. All I wanted was by some miracle Pakistan to qualify for the semi-finals of the T20 World Cup. That crazily happened. And for Arsenal to beat Chelsea. So far, everything has gone my way. I am absolutely buzzing. And now we have to start the conversation. Are Arsenal title contenders? Let me know in the comments below. And if not, if you're going to say no, why not at this point? The only answer I will accept for why we're not start for why we're not title contenders is squad size. But come on, man! Every other thing about this team, about this club right now, is brilliant. Everything's going so well, and this isn't a flash in the pan. Thirteen games into the season now, I mean, come on! We are doing the business. I know there is a concern. I've been pointing out in recent weeks that we're not scoring enough goals. We're not clinical enough. For the last eight games now, we've only scored more than one goal on one occasion. That is Nottingham Forest. But today is a different story. Today, you can't judge the same game um, when you're playing Bodo or when you're playing Zurich at home as you judge it when you're playing Chelsea away. If I'm not mistaken, in the Premier League so far this season, out of the top six, this is the first time a team, I'm not sure if it's the top six or the big six, but it's the first time a team has had an away result against one of the other teams in that six. Arsenal have gone and laid a marker down today. They've absolutely laid a marker down today. And people are noticing now. You know, on the punditry right at the end of the game on BT Sport, it was Rio Ferdinand saying, there's something about this Arsenal team. I've started to hear a little bit more of this. And Arsenal fans have been feeling it and seeing it all season long. It is different. It's absolutely different. And when I look at today's game, and you know what? Why is it different? It's the manager. That is why it's different. And, and a huge, huge example of why it's different is that today was a perfect example of it. It was one player that was on the, on the pitch in Chelsea Blue that used to be at Arsenal. The manager laid a marker down with him. Just how the team laid a marker down with this performance. When the manager is given that much backing, and he's given that much trust to stamp his authority on a team. El Nenny said it pre-match, that he said, everyone's scared now. If that can be done to the captain, what does it say about anyone else? Everyone just needs to fall in line. Kind of just do what you need to do for the team. And listen, in hindsight, no matter how you feel about the situation, right? I've got my opinions on the specifics of that situation with Aubameyang and Arteta. But no matter how you feel about that situation, Proof is in the pudding. I'm glad it happened because it's worked. It's obviously been a contributing factor to this team, to their togetherness and the way they are now behind the manager because they know he's top dog. Unlike other toxic clubs where players can undermine managers, refuse to come on and subs uh, off, of, off of the bench as a sub and you know all of that nonsense. Not at Arsenal, not anymore. We know who the top dog is. You better get in line. And right now we've got a team fully behind the manager. And I want to talk about the manager more than anyone else today because today's three points, today's massive statement victory was all about Mikel Arteta. For Arsenal today, the 11 players that were on the pitch, even the subs, there was no player today who had his best game of the season. Let's talk about some of the brilliant performances today. Uh, Saliba, incredible. Gabriel, brilliant. I thought uh, Ben White was really good. Partey, brilliant. Xhaka, very, very good as well. A front three, they were okay, but you know I wouldn't call them out as standouts. The fact of the matter is, all those players that I mentioned, even though they were some of our best performers today, they've had better games this season. No one did anything truly exceptional today, right? But what the truly exceptional thing about today was, was just perfect discipline, perfect shape, perfect consistency and um, game management throughout the whole 95 and a half minutes. It was so pleasing to see because you know what? When you look at a team like Chelsea just kicking the ball around the back and not knowing what to do, I saw no game plan to try and win the game today. All I saw today from Chelsea in terms of how we're going to win this game was set pieces. Win cheap fouls, corners, that 
that sort of thing. Now, look, Arsenal weren't significantly better in the final third. I think that was our weakest area of the pitch. But we're the away team, for God's sake. We're the team coming to your home territory. We're top of the league. You guys need to close that gap. And they've done nothing. They, were, they looked lost at times. Arsenal were definitely the better team. We restricted Chelsea to one shot on target. You know, we, uh, you look at the expected goals of that game. Every single stat that you look at, Arsenal were dominant. And Chelsea, they just ran out of ideas. And that's all down to shape, formation, discipline, how switched on you are. And that all comes from the manager. And that's why today, this victory is dedicated to Mikel Arteta. How he has proved his doubters wrong is incredible. And yes, I was a doubter. How could you not be, given how things were going for him at one stage? But what I've loved about this is that when the club have said, fine, we're going to stick with him, they haven't just stuck with him, they've let him have full control to go and make those really, really tough decisions, like what he did with Aubameyang. Today was that performance. Today was that day where all of that has just been put in front of us to show us is paid dividends. The, the poetic nature of a Bamiyang being absolutely useless all game and then getting subbed off and it's Mikel Arteta at the end of the game celebrating. Tells you everything you need to know. Conversation done. Nothing personal, Oba. Remember that. Brilliant. I'm just absolutely buzzing with Man City in recent games against Leicester. Took a moment of brilliance from Kevin De Bruyne and uh, yesterday as well against Fulham at home after going a man down last, last minute penalty. You know, they're, they're scraping through. You can't be great all the time. Even Arsenal are going through a bit of a rough patch right now in terms of form and that final third uh, piece as well. But you know what? We're doing the business. When Man City do it, they get credit. They get all of that uh, cliche compliment of that's what good teams do. That's what title winning teams do. When you're not playing well, you still do really well. You still go and get the three points. That is what Arsenal are doing. Yes, you can still be concerned at the fact that, you know, Jesus hasn't scored in too long. We're, we're not clicking up front right now. But other players are stepping up. Look at our defence today. Look at Saliba. He is a Rolls Royce. Absolute Rolls Royce. Check out my 5 at 5 tomorrow. I'm going to focus on one thing that Saliba did that just shows how switched on he is, how incredible he is. He, he puts on defensive clinics every time he comes out on the pitch. He was brilliant today, bullied people. It must be demoralising coming up against Saliba. I thought he was fantastic again. And how many times have I said that this season? Thomas Partey as well. Immense in the middle of the park. Granite Xhaka, you know, in previous games, he'd do something stupid at the end when he was squaring up to Chaloba and probably get sent off. Even he's reined it in. He's found that level to kind of play on the edge, play with that intensity, but not do stupid stuff. Guys, I am buzzing. And I want you to tell me in the comments, are Arsenal contenders? I'm saying right now, injuries permitting, we absolutely are. See you next time.